Hello everyone, this is Blast and welcome to another theory video. Today we discuss the Ninja Village. I'll try my best to explain this Ninja Village and everything that has to do with it. This may contain spoilers guys, alright, so you have been warned. If you don't want to get spoiled, you know what to do. Also, if you are a new viewer here, welcome. Blast Art is a one punch man channel. I theorize about everything concerning webcomic, manga and even anime. If you do enjoy this kind of videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and help me grow my community. That would be highly appreciated. You can also join my Patreon, it's only one dollar and I'll discuss a theory that you desire the most. Alright, with that being said, let's begin. The Ninja Village is a facility or an institution located in the One Punch Man universe. I have reason to believe that it is located in City K. And the reason for that is, in the manga Sonic seems to be training always in this forested area. K City is an area that contains a huge forest. I could be wrong but it's, this is just a theory. Flashy Flash, Sonic, Hellfire and Gale. All were trained there, along with more members that appeared in the webcomic, we will get to that in a second. Alright, so what is this ninja village? It is more of a prison that gathered children at a very young age to whom their skills to become deadly ninjas in the future. Like imagine training a 5 or 4 year old to become an assassin. That is indeed a harsh regimen. The thing is, there are rules to this hellish insanity. Children there work for 72 hours a week and get only 6 hours of sleep. To be honest, I thought they were getting less than that. It is expected from all members not to show any sign of weakness towards one another. Those who reveal their feelings get low ratings and are sent to most dangerous places to complete the most hazardous tasks. Flash Flash mentioned that all members are actually males, so there are no females among them. It is forbidden to show any kind of feeling towards each other, like I mentioned before, that would get you killed. The trainer always remind them if they talk to each other or show any sign of brotherhood, they will get stabbed. The training mainly consists on physical activities and weapon handling. It is extremely hard and the reason for that is to improve and heighten their senses, upgrade their fighting capabilities. There is a theory that Sonic is the weakest among them, so by default the other members are S-class considering their fighting capabilities. Uh, to be honest, I don't really like that theory because in my opinion Sonic has improved a lot since then and maybe he become one of the strongest among them. The ninja village was established by the one and only leader of the ninja village. We do not have a name for him yet. It is believed that he is the strongest ninja in history. I mean he should be, because he did challenge Blast, the number one hero. Yep, that's right. He did end up in a coma though. But uh, judging by the how the members are referring to him, he seems to be very powerful with the skills that rival the finest of the S-class. The leader of the ninja village is alive and well, however he is kept by the remaining members of the ninja clan in a capsule to speed up his recovery. Although the true intentions of the ninja village are not shown, the remaining members want to kill Flashy Flash and Blast and take over the world. There is a huge reason why Flashy Flash is hated even among the ninja village. In their eyes they see him as a traitor, a betrayer. After all he was the one to end it all. In his training days Flashy Flash was pretending to be weak so he can finish the hardest task and hose his killing skill to the utmost. Because Flash Flash's hatred grew toward the village beyond imagination, he wanted to annihilate anyone that has anything to do with that village, with that cursed village. At the day of his graduation, Flash Flash launched a killing streak, a massacre, in which he killed all who were in the ninja village with the exception of few. At that day Sonic was actually sick because Flash did actually poison him. Maybe he did consider him as a friend back then, more than anything. I'm not sure why Flashy Flash wasn't able to kill the ninja leader. I'll leave this question to you guys so you can answer me in the comments. At first we thought that there are only 4 members remaining after the fateful incident. However, in the webcomic Sonic was approached by more than 20 remaining members. Yes guys, that's right. Things are getting more excited from here. At the time Sonic was recovering from a head injury inflicted by Saitama. You know how Sonic like acts, he wants to surpass Saitama and all that kind of stuff. They did reveal their true intention. Precisely Gale of the Wind talks about their ambition of killing Flashy Flash, the betrayer and publicly executing Blast and taking over the world through their powerful skills. He referred to that they no longer need to hide in the shadow and they should reveal themselves as the world's new leaders. In total we have 24 members from the village. The list is before you right now. You can see that all the members has redundant names, similar to Flash. Also it is important to state that there are other ninja villages similar to this, but Gale did mention in the manga that none of them is as powerful as theirs. 
I did make a video theorizing about the ninja village leader. I will leave it in the description if you want to know more about him. In my opinion, I love the ninja village. The story is very interesting and I can't wait to see what happens next. In the webcomic right now, all the members are fighting against Flash Flash and Sonic. I wonder how that is going to end. I guess that was all for the video. I did really enjoy gathering information on this topic. I find it truly fascinating, truly interesting. Tell me in the comments, everyone, your thoughts about this. I appreciate if you made it this far. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more theories like this one. Also, follow me on my Twitter and join my discourse if you like talking about One Punch Man and theorizing about the manga and webcomic. I hope you are having a great day and I will be seeing you in the next video. Blast Art is out. Just my